Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Am I wasting your time? I just sense that God is beginning to, I was to teach something now, but I just sense there is a stirring. Someone's fasting has touched the heart of God. Someone's praying has touched the heart of God. Take it high for me, please. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Oh, oh, oh rest on me. Oh, oh, rest on me. Oh, oh, oh rest on me. Holy Ghost power, rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper, rest on me, rest on me. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom, Rest on me, rest on me. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom, rest on me, rest on me. Let your spirit for signs and wonders, rest on me, rest on me. Oh, oh, oh rest on me. Oh. oh, oh on me oh, oh, oh rest on me spirit of wisdom rest on me someone begin to pray rest on me rest on me oh god the power to prosper rest on me the spirit of wisdom rest on me Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're having a little chat with Pastor, and I was just commending on the grace that God has brought and multiplied upon his life, the ministry spreading across. I want to release a grace for visibility. If you like, believe it. If you like, don't believe it. But there is a grace that gives men visibility. Hear me. Just because you are graced and gifted does not mean the nations will hear you. There are many gifted people who have been kept down. The Bible says Gideon sounded a trumpet and 33,000 people showed up. Where they came from we do not know. But there was a trumpet that they heard. And they began to gravitate towards him. There is a grace that when it rests upon you, you cannot be small. No. It's true. Because many of you here, I sense in my spirit, you are faithful, you are diligent. But that grace that becomes a leverage is not there. I pray for someone here. In the name that is above all names, the grace that gives men visibility, that will cause your voice, that will cause your product that hear ye him anointing may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now in the name of Jesus please be seated please be seated 
Now what I'm about to give you are prophetic instructions. I want you to just listen to them. Instructions are enhancers to destiny manifestation. He says, my son, pay attention to my words. He says, incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your heart. Keep them in the midst of thee. They are life, not to everyone, to those who find them and health to their flesh. Hallelujah. Those who train pilots are not called coaches. They are called instructors because they give them direct precepts. If you keep with it, you will soar in the air. You compromise, you may crash in a moment. Hallelujah. And the Lord gave me this just to encourage you on this over dwelling on the past. And then the next is a rundown of a few prophetic instructions. Let me just walk with the time that I have and then I finally speak over your life. Honestly, this is the year your life will really produce results. You see, when you hear words like this, don't get used to entertainment on TV and just believe everybody who is speaking is entertaining. No. Gabriel looked at Zechariah and said, I am Gabriel that came from the presence of God. Find out where men are coming from before you vet what they are saying. No. Not everybody is a joker. I say it again. In the name of Jesus, the one who called an anointed man, the one who has so given us graces, this year, 2024, may my God surprise you. May my God surprise you. May my God surprise you. You believe what you are hearing? Let's get a few prophetic instructions and then we'll pray. Thank you, Jesus. Just hold for me now the person who shouts loud under the anointing. You don't have to bring them out. You just hold them so that they don't run around. Oh, oh, oh. rest on me. Oh, oh, rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me. Spirit of wisdom, rest on me. Let your power power to prosper rest on me rest on me let your power power to prosper rest on me rest on me let your power for signs and wonders rest on me rest on me oh Rest on me, oh, rest on me. Oh. There is a young man here. Please just allow me to do my thing. The Spirit of God keeps prevailing over me. There is a young man here. You have not started ministry yet, but this year there is an anointing that has been searching for you. You have been quiet walking with the Spirit. You are in this place. The Lord is asking me to speak that grace over your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, for that young man, silent in the cave of Adulam, being walked upon by the Spirit, let this anointing that will begin to announce you in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, Paris Kanishalaka Pariata, Ebrakatebarekes Kadinas Kabai, Kariashabareke Pariata, Elekate Fresca Benekapai. May you arise and shine by the spirit of grace. May you arise and shine by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus Christ.
someone who is full of faith begin to pray in the spirit in one minute pray in the spirit in one minute Pray in the spirit in one minute. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, are a shield for me my glory you lift my head but now oh lord are a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head self tell me as loud as you can say father one more time say father in the name of jesus i decree and declare that my life will be a revelation of the glory of God I receive by faith all your promises for me go ahead and begin to pray I receive someone is praying I receive in the name of Jesus go ahead and pray and this is the confidence that we have in him that when we ask anything according to his will he heareth us go ahead and pray oh I receive by faith go ahead and pray divine help speed favor liftings by the power of the holy ghost online pray outside pray man of god pray businessman pray worshipers pray in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now I'm just going to speak over the sick I feel stirred in my heart to pray we may not have time to take the testimonies but you can take that you know on Sunday you can come and testify but I want to pray particularly for the sick and then I want to speak the favor of God over your life and then we'll do the prayer there are many things to pray for but these two things your body and then to program a climate of favor over you many people have disrespected the power of the prophetic you will be joking just because there are abuses and imbalances does not mean you throw away the prophetic ministry it's an advantage that God gave us we transit realms we are changed upon the power of prophecy hallelujah i want to pray for the sick now listen to me the revelation behind healing is god's commitment to preserve your body and to give you the vitality needed to serve him and to represent him it's important you understand this when the sick are healed is beyond an attestation that the man of god is anointed no God's goal is way bigger than that it is God's commitment towards giving you sustained vitality he says they that be planted in the house of God he says they will flourish in the courts of our God that even in old age they will be fat and flourishing it then means that if you tolerate infirmity and sickness of any kind and any sort in your body it is your participation with darkness to cut short your life every manifestation of sickness is death being administered in a measure and according to the pattern of how satan works when he touches an area and you allow him unrestrained he will move further 
this is what he did to the church the early church the bible says herod made a commitment to vex certain jews and they caught james and beheaded james and the church kept quiet when he saw that it pleased the people the bible said he proceeded further satan touches your health you are quiet he proceeds further to your children proceeds further to your finances but then when we get to verse 5 the church became angry the bible says while he was waiting so that when you know the feast was over the bible says the church came together but prayer was made by the church unto god for him and angels came to the rescue the same angels that rescued peter were available to rescue james father in the name of jesus i lay my hands by faith upon everyone who is sick in their bodies i'm seeing people lift medical reports i'm seeing people lifting photos of their loved ones i wanted to connect by faith i'm about to speak to you now the bible says by his stripes we were healed peter said the spirits that are at the back of every infirmity here represented in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god we take authority over those spirits now shout a believing amen now shout a believing amen now every spirit that is back of any infirmity plaguing god's people i decree and i declare that you give way now and i minister the life and the power of jesus to your body i declare be healed now be healed now be healed now my god be healed now eye conditions be healed now blood conditions of any kind and any sort be healed now bone conditions be healed now i tell you i sense such a strong anointing of the spirit of god i'm praying for someone who has a severe pain around your ankle in the name that is above all names be healed this moment there is a lady your left eye you are seeing please help them in the name of jesus i'm seeing you have severe pain when you look it's like you are look you are, you are seeing an object your left eye the power of god is touching you right now i bring you life i bring you healing in the name of jesus i've seen these kinds of conditions many times and the lord is asking me to announce it again you are a lady your cycle happens twice a month it is very irregular it comes with excruciating pain the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ i cast that devil from your body all kinds of growths fibroids lumps i declare they die now in the name of jesus christ you're having severe pain especially at the left side of your neck when you turn it this happened when you woke up one morning i'm praying for you now the power of god is touching you this moment i don't know what hospital is in garki but i'm seeing someone in a hospital there and the power of god is touching that person right now garki a hospital there in the name that is above all names let there be a miracle for you right now let there be a miracle for you right now i'm seeing a woman sit on a chair and holding a child this child should be about maybe four or five years he has autism autism this is what is wrong with that child this is a woman from united kingdom you are sitting with your child he has autism let the power of god touch that child now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus you are having problems with your knee your knee particularly your kneecap you're not able to bend this way not without pain the power of God is touching you right now the Lord is showing me a lady you had a dream in that dream you saw yourself breastfeeding a baby from the time you woke up you've been having excruciating pain particularly the right side of your breast I cause that spirit right now 
I cause that spirit right now. Lumbar spondylosis be healed. Peptic ulcer be healed. Migraine headaches be healed. I say it again. Migraine headaches be healed. I command cancer to die. Sugar diabetes be healed. Pile. The Lord is healing someone from pile. Painful pile. Be healed in Jesus name. I'm seeing somebody having recurrent malaria recurrent it keeps coming you treat it it comes you treat it i command that spirit to give way now in the name of jesus christ there's someone having your heart is not palpitating but you are having breathing problems if you lie down in a room you know how an asthma patient is you don't have asthma but this thing affects your breathing I'm seeing sometimes you stand close to the window so you are able to breathe enough air. I want to pray for you. Anything wrong with your veins and your arteries that the devil is programming death, no matter what it is called, I curse it now by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus, heart palpitations be healed. Lupus be healed. Rheumatoid arthritis be healed in the name of jesus christ the lord is showing me a man i'm seeing a man sitting you are beginning to have the initial stages of prostate cancer in the name that is above all names wherever you are whether you are here or following online by the god that we serve we call prostate by its name and we cause cancer by the god of heaven in the name of jesus the lord is ministering to me there is a lady you're not you're not you don't have a child but you are lactating you're lactating you don't have a child this is something you've gone to the hospital for in the name of jesus the son of the living god let that satanic occurrence come to an end now memory loss i'm hearing memory loss memory loss you forget things this is beginning to affect you in your place of work in the name of jesus i speak to you you have the mind of christ you have the mind of christ you have the mind of christ the lord is asking me to speak over someone i'm ministering healing but every time something good is about to happen you go to bed and you have a dream some person will come to molest you and the moment you wake up whether it's a job or some opportunity it just leaves in the name of jesus the son of the living god we severe you from the influence of those spirits in the name of jesus christ there is a couple the lord is asking me to minister to the problem affecting fertility is the man this is a problem that is common to men and yours is an acute problem you need a miracle this is not something drugs or supplement can correct you are not able to get your wife pregnant i want you to believe that the power of god is in this place god who quickened the body of abraham that isaac came even by natural means let that power that raised christ from the dead quicken your mortal body now quicken your mortal body now quicken your mortal body now I'm hearing a name Zuera this is the name that I'm hearing Zuera this should be another name in the name of Jesus I pray for that person whether here or online every infirmity I'm saying this is something that has to do with your heart by the power that raised Christ from the dead I bring you life and healing life and healing life and healing life and healing there is a woman god is asking me to pray for we're wrapping up um although this woman is on the big side it is not because of her weight that she's having mobility problems i'm seeing that there is a problem just right here i'm literally feeling the pain from here i'm not a medical doctor i might not be able to give it all the explanation needed but in the name of jesus that pain at your right side is affecting mama's mobility as the church of the lord jesus christ we cause that pain now we cause that pain now 
we cause that pain now hearing problems be healed now speech problems be healed now I feel stirred up in my heart to just speak this is not word of knowledge but it's just out of an information I know particularly around Europe the case of mental health and autism these two cases is plaguing children particularly in their teenage we stand in faith right from here we are speaking to the nations but particularly we release our faith over the children in Europe from Nigeria to Europe extending to Canada America this plague this spirit of mental health destroying people at their productive years we call it by name and we curse it by the God of heaven we curse it by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ can I declare favor over you truly there is a grace called favor I want you to convince yourself that there is such a grace and it can rest upon a man it brings systems and structure under pressure and compels men to treat you with benevolence with kindness there are three biblical indices to measure the presence of favor number one unusual kindness when the grace for favor is on you men related and unrelated they are compelled by this grace to show you unusual kindness number two is unusual acceptance acceptance beyond the prejudices of tribe race gender this is what happens when you receive the grace for favor number three is unusual access access this is how you know that the favor of God has rested upon you the Bible says watch this now it says in Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 the B part says and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her verse 17 says and the king loved Esther more than all the virgins he now placed a royal apparel upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti Exodus 3 21 and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty Psalms 44 and verse 3 they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their arm save them but thou O Lord and thy right hand the light of your countenance because thou hast a favor towards them I pray for you standing in partnership with the grace upon the angel in this house I decree and declare from the transforming church to all those who are connected I stand as a privileged steward of this grace in the name that is above all names let this grace for favor let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you now unusual access let it rest upon you from the depth of my spirit I release that grace upon you let it work wonders in your life favor in your career favor in ministry favor in business favor in family even Pharaoh must favor you help that woman in the name of Jesus hear me by this prayer every door that has been closed over your life I stand upon the grace of the man of God and I speak to that door a fata be open a fata be open a fata be open 2024 hear the word of the Lord be open now when Jesus was born even as a baby with no ability to help himself that grace spoke and the Magi right from where they were the Bible says these were adults and they carried gifts of gold of frankincense and myrrh they were taking it to a baby not an adult I'm praying for you again this is an advantage we have in the kingdom may favor rest upon you and let it begin to speak from this night in the name of Jesus favor that brings establishment favor that connects you to strategic men 
in the name of Jesus ministers of the gospel let favor bring help us for you help us of the war in the name of Jesus Christ this year I forbid you from being alone I forbid you from crying alone in the name of Jesus the grace that helped Hagar in the desert Hagar was crying together with her baby and when God spoke to her she looked and saw an oasis springing forth I declare the oasis that must spring from your desert let it begin now can we pray I'm going to request um, since we're praying on it together is that fine Reverend Sam okay please let me request the ushers please bring the prayer requests and then please bring it can you guys pour it here can you bring them all here let your spirit spirit of wisdom rest on me rest on me let your spirit spirit of wisdom rest on me rest on me oh rest on me oh rest on me oh rest on me spirit of wisdom rest on me let your power power to prosper rest on me rest on me let your power power to prosper rest on me rest on me hallelujah in Jesus name Amen I'd like you to just place your right hand on your head as you pray right now and let me say this the first person to ever walk up to me I say Reverend Sam there's a grace for cross-cultural influence on you was Pastor Kunle Shorion, the second person was Apostle Selman recognizing that grace God has been so merciful we can't even share things in the public the Bible says he is the one that busts your confinements from today whatsoever is the reason for your confinement it is over I say the Lord burst your confinements servant of God the Lord burst your confinements inside and outside the Lord burst your confinements Single lady, single man, the Lord burst your confinement. I decree and declare from today, your branches will begin to spread over the walls. You are uncontainable. From today, you are unstoppable. From today, you are irresistible from today you begin to spread out you begin to move out you begin to advance begin to advance break barriers break limitations break obstacles move higher move forward advance progress flourish Thrive locally and internationally. Go to the nations. 
go to the nations your doors are open your gates are open your gates are open in the name of Jesus hallelujah listen to me please listen the greatest way and the most potent way to transfer graces is through words hallelujah words he said if you had known of the dispensation of the oh, grace that yes, was given Lord, unto yes. me for you word given to me for you i want to release the grace for visibility listen to me deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2 my god the bible says and it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord thy god to observe and to do all that i command you this day it says that you shall be exalted above all not some all the nations of the earth from tonight like a candle that has been lit i forbid you from remaining small yes i forbid you from remaining small may that grace for visibility rest upon you access to the nations of the earth access to the hearts of kings in the name of jesus hey! hallelujah when Saul met with Samuel, yes. three things happened. Yes. Samuel said, is it not because the Lord has anointed yes. you to be a captain over his inheritance? I pray for you, the anointing that makes you a captain. The Bible calls it an oil of gladness that makes you above your fellows. May that grace rest upon you now. And Samuel told Saul, he said, as you return, the first thing is restoration that the donkey that has been missing would have been back home yeah. we prophesy that everything you have lost in 2023 we decree and declare let it be a balance brought forward for you yes. in the mighty name of jesus i speak restoration yes. i speak restoration yes. i speak restoration yes. number two he said you will meet with three men uh, yeah, yeah. each of them holding two loaf yes sir. they will salute you and they will give, they will to, give you. to you and he says of them receive yes where are your helpers of hey! destiny we decree and declare yes, from january to december 2024 Shabbat enjoy the ministry Shabbat of Shabbat destiny helpers yes enjoy the ministry of destiny yes! helpers number three he says you will come to the garrison of the Philistines and that the Spirit of God will come upon you and you will begin to prophesy yes. I pray for you yes. the unction that turns you to another man hey. another man in hey. business another man in ministry yes, another man in worship yes. another man in family another life man. let that grace rest upon you yes. The grace that makes Abraham, Abraham. Hey! The grace that makes Sarai, Sarah. The grace that makes Sipha, Peter. The grace that makes Jacob, Israel. The grace to become another man. Receive it in Jesus' name. Yes! My God. Can I request, before we pray on the request here, yes. can you stretch your hands towards us? The Bible says that God will bless the works of your hands. Ah. Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. Listen, Job said in the days of my youth, ah. when his light, his candle was upon my tabernacle, yes. you see, there were two kinds of light that Job had. One upon his head and another upon his path. Yes. The one on his head was for illumination. The one on his path was for direction. And the benefit of the light upon his head was seen in the works of his hands. I want to pray for you. Ah. In the name of Jesus, yes. we release our faith. Yes. Nothing dies in your hands. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing dies in your hands. Nothing. Nothing dies in your hands. Yes. Let blessing meet blessing on your hands. Hey. May the Lord make your hands strong. Yes. May the Lord prosper the works of your yes. hands in the name of Jesus. Yes. 
stretch your hands in this direction Father I lift up this request before you and we ask that you who answers prayer will answer every prayer here grant your children their hearts desires Amen. let the sick be healed Amen. let your doors be open return with testimonies of liftings your promotion comes early your visa granted early your project is finished early the land enters your hands what you've been waiting for receive your request is granted your request is granted your joy coming now your doors are open your favor is granted rise to the next level rise to the next level enter your next dimension be supernaturally married i decree increase on every side multiplication no more delays no more delays no more affliction no more reproach it is done hallelujah please allow me to release one more grace before we are done the greatest investment of the spirit upon my life is the grace for encounters my god the bible says blessed is the man that god causes to approach him you see if all we receive are just things we did not receive much there is a grace that compels men you see hunger is a gift ah. hunger is proof of health you're about to receive something very heavy right now the first thing that happens when a, an individual is sick is the loss of appetite you use the loss of appetite as a layman's way of diagnosing the presence of sickness that means when you lose spiritual hunger is a sign that something is wrong and there are people because of the vicissitudes of life because of the the challenges the wear and tear of life many here have lost their passion passion for the things of god passion for prayer passion for fasting passion for the word they've lost touch with consecration they've lost touch with all that makes men mighty we stand in agreement and we pray for you in the name that is above all names yes, Lord. Yes. fire from heaven hey! that reignites your prayer life yes fire from heaven fire that reignites your word study yes. life fire from heaven yes that reignites your passion yes. for god receive it now hey! receive it now hey! receive hunger yes hunger for oh, church yes hunger for god hey! hunger for the things of god hey! hunger for the study of hey! the word hunger for prayer hey! in the name of jesus hey! that regardless the level you have attained in the spirit yes, Lord. i plant in you from tonight a holy dissatisfaction hey! Ah, let it drive you to fast hey. let it drive you to pray let it drive you to fast hey. let it drive you to pray hey. let it drive you to fast hey. let it drive you to pray hey. let it drive you to study hey. let it drive you to give hey. in the name of jesus hey. if reverend sam will lend me one more minute yes. i want to cause mm. the spirit of greed and connection to material things this may look like an unnecessary prayer but listen carefully there are many who do not have because god knows that if he gives them it will have them. oh my god are we together yes god fights everything that takes his place even if he's the one who gave you materialism is not having materials materialism is getting to a point where you exalt materials to be the god in your life replacing the position of the christ and this is the tragedy of many believers ministry can become an idol hey. yes sir preaching can become an idol business can become an idol 
nothing in itself destroys until it is connected to a heart condition that exalts it above God. I want to pray. By this prayer, a circumcision will happen to someone. Listen, there are many of you, God wants to prosper you. He wants to open doors. But you see, the hindrance to your becoming and to your entering the next level is not necessarily demonic. Is that there is a heart condition God wants to prepare so that when the billions and the millions come, when the exaltation and the increase comes, you will remember the Lord your God. That's what he told the people. I pray for you every mundane connection to things that has made you exalt money position titles above and beyond the christ we dethrone it now we dethrone it now we dethrone it now every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome finally i declare before i let reverend sam continue by this time next year gilgal 2025 except if you don't plan to be alive but for as long as you plan to be alive, I prophesy to you, return 10 times better. Return 10 times better. Spiritually, financially, yes. career-wise, yes. the 10 times better anointing, yes. let it rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. Hey. Give Jesus a big hand of... Come and manifest your power, Dideo, Dideo. Hey, oh God of signs and wonders, Savior, Redeemer, come and manifest your power, Dideo. Oh God of signs. And wonders, Savior, Redeemer, come and manifest your power. Come and manifest your power. Come and show forth your power. Elijah said, let the God that answers by fire, let him be the God. Even if you do not know his name, wait for his power. Come and manifest your power. Dideo, dideo. Listen. In construction, we have very major construction companies. And there are times you can know a block that was made by, you know, just some well-meaning person and one that was made by a serious construction company. And sometimes when you see certain blocks, they are almost casted like concrete. They pour them down and yet they don't break. Before you see to verify what company, you just know that whatever this company is, it has to be a solid company to have produced this. You can use the works of God to verify that he is there. So when Moses went to Pharaoh, Pharaoh said, he said, thus said the Lord God of the Hebrews. That is not a name. Let my people know. No. 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 They healed. Beelzebub did certain things. But there are certain things Satan cannot do. When you know the extent. This is Paul's prayer. That you understand the extent of his power. So every time you say God like Lazarus, if you were here, our brother would not have died. But she said, even now, someone prophesied, even now. Ah, God, you didn't do it last year because in his economy, there is no such thing as delay. He can come, he can, ah. Come and manifest your power, Dideo. Come and manifest your power, 
and manifest your power. Oh God of signs and wonders, save your redeemer, come and manifest your power. One more time, oh God of signs and wonders, save your come and manifest your power. I truly believe that there are people here that what God will begin to do in your life there are people who had no names in the Bible but they were described by the spectacular manifestations of the hand of God upon their life are we together who was born blind I mean why was this man who seen that this man was born blind him or his father Jesus said that's not the issue now is an opportunity for the glory of God to be made manifest. The first miracle recorded in scripture, according to John's synoptic account, is found in John chapter 2. Hallelujah. The wedding in Cana of Galilee. By the time we get to verse 5, the Bible says, Mary called the people and said, whatsoever he tells you to do, do. Then we get to verse 10. Give us verse 10. The Bible says, this beginning of miracles verse okay 11 now this beginning of miracles did jesus in galilee cana of galilee and manifested his glory and the disciples believed on him this beginning he didn't stop there then by the time we go to john chapter 20 and verse 30 give it to us please John chapter 2 begins the miracles. John chapter 20 and verse 30. And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book, 31. He says, but these are written that he might believe. You can believe in Jesus by seeing a demonstration of his power. Anytime people say, where is your God? Don't answer them. Let your results answer. Your results are better speakers. Come and manifest your power, Dideo, Dideo. Manifest your power. You manifest your power. Can I tell you, a cry to see the power of God in your life is a valid cry. Ask the psalmist, Oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul longs after you as in a dry and a weary land. He said to see your power and your glory as I have seen in the sanctuary. I shouldn't just see your power in church alone. I need to import that reality to my home, to my business, to my health. Acts chapter 4 and verse 33. Please give it to us. And with great power, the Bible says, gave the apostles witness, Acts 4.33, of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon how many? All. Not preachers. All. Not just businessmen. All. It takes great power. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. Peter was speaking in the house of Cornelius. He said, how God and Jesus of Nazareth, he was the word incarnate, but he still needed power with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about. Don't go about with just compassion. You'll be disappointed. You need to have beyond compassion. Power. Holy Ghost power. Rest on me. Rest on me. Oh, oh, oh. Rest on me, oh, rest on me, oh, rest on me, the Holy Ghost power, rest on me, let your power for signs and wonders, rest on me, rest on me, let your power for signs and wonders, rest on me rest on me oh, oh, oh rest on me oh, oh, oh rest on me oh, oh, oh rest on me holy ghost power 
rest on me. Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power. 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 Tarry ye in Jerusalem until ye be endued with power. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran. He ran. We don't run just by intention. It is based on what comes upon us. That's what drives you to run. Power from on high. Power from on high. Power from on high. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in all your ways. It is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies will submit themselves to you. It says, our Lord God, thou hast made the heavens and the earth by thy great power. Please listen to me. When you call God El Shaddai, it is a revelation that many people do not understand. The literal translation is the multi-breasted one. It's not a very accurate translation, but it's an attempt to describe the extent of sufficiency. Hallelujah. The multi-breasted one. That means there is no limitation to his ability to supply. Are we together now? When a woman gives birth to triplets or quadruplets, two have to be patient if she's breastfeeding them. Not because she's wicked, she's limited. So when the Bible calls him El Shaddai, that means within his economy, one person does not have to suffer because another person is experiencing him. Shaddai. That means God can lift everyone at the same time. One person's rising does not affect another because it is El Shaddai. Are you listening now? Please, I want you to hear this. If you press to know God, his character, and then you get to understand his power, just these two dimensions alone will turn your life around. Reverend Sam is able to do what he is doing today because he has encountered these dimensions. When I sat down and I was seeing the testimonies yesterday, you know, people, not everybody is faking this thing. Oh, listen carefully to me. There are people who really love God and don't get used to, and just feel that every time you see people, miracles and all of that. No, not at all. I want you to believe this. There are people who fear God. There are people who have seen his face. Among the many things that they received is his power. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorify breathe Lord breathe breathe Lord breathe breathe upon my life breathe Lord breathe breathe Lord breathe Listen, remember the assignment I've given you. I want you to go back and study Psalm 103. Study, use it tonight before you return tomorrow. Study it and destroy those negative lies the devil has told you about God. Are we together? The Lord is gracious, full of compassion, rich in mercy and love. The Lord is almighty. Now you study his power extent of his power the 
extent of his power then you will see how small your situation is then you will believe that it is not a scam if God gives you a house tomorrow then you will believe he's not endorsing carelessness it's a system of advantage the implication of his nature that God can turn Samaria overnight to become Beulah and Hephzibah Listen, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Let's be careful in, in a bid to teach people things like the law of process and to help people grow. Let's not downplay and insult God by doubting every possibility that God can bring that is beyond the scope of men. I don't endorse laziness and carelessness, but it is a joke to believe. If you don't believe God and you are afraid, grow. But don't stop other people from who told you God cannot bless you overnight. Listen, he will not do that to honor your carelessness. But there is a system of advantage captured in his dealing with men. And where the need arises according to your understanding, he is able to bring you into that reality. The prophet said by this time tomorrow. It is true. Listen. If some of us were to follow the normal course of growth, we would not be one-tenth where God has placed us by grace. Did you hear what I said? So I'm saying this so that as I speak over your life, it is not a license for carelessness. It is not a license for lack of diligence. These are all together the systems in the kingdom. But there is an advantage that the believer has. Don't waste the presence of the Holy Spirit. Don't waste the supremacy of the word. Don't insult the mercy and the love and the grace of God. What then is the advantage of these things? The Bible says, wherefore are given to us exceeding great and precious promises. Listen, that by them we might be the partakers in experience of his divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. God is not a fraudster that will allow people carelessly just prosper like that without engaging the principles of prosperity and growth. But you will be joking to believe that God does not assist men. Ebenezer, El Shaddai, Jaira, come on. Rewarder, in fact. That he that cometh to God must come believing that he is then that he is the rewarder of them, not all, of them, not all. So don't be offended if you don't get it. He never said he's the rewarder of all. He said he's the rewarder of them. If you don't get it, you have not subscribed to be part of the them. Among the very them that receive are them that diligently seek him. Serving God pays. Did you hear what I said? Loving God pays. Pouring your all for him. Except you are faking it somewhere. I tell you, when you pour your all with reckless abandonment, if it's the God of the Bible, in your lifetime, he will console you. Remember, you are not serving him for things. You are serving him because you love him. However, he has vowed that you would not serve him and he will leave you in shame. Could it be that there are certain things that have been shot, not by the devil? God is, is shutting it so that you don't use your mouth and your hands to damage something God is doing. The day you now agree, there are things that will open on their own. Like today, you can agree with God, I believe you. You have said I'm a man of God, a great one, I believe you. You have said I'm a Deborah to my generation. God, I do not even have the eloquence of speech. But one thing I know and I believe is that God is not a man that he should lie. You have told me I will carry the sounds of worship to the ends of the earth. This is for someone. I believe you. You have said I am Esther. Even though coming from Shushan, my destiny is to sit with Ahasuerus. I believe you. I may not see the wind. I may not see rain. Yet my valley shall be filled. Not because of the weather, but the one who controls the weather. Go ahead in one minute and begin to declare, Lord, I believe you. I believe you. Take this moment to cause unbelief from your life. We wax valiant upon the strength of our encounters. 
but the people that do know their God in career do know their God concerning their health do know their God concerning their days do know their God as touching victory over demons and principalities and powers do know their God concerning finances do know their God as touching ministry the Bible says they shall be strong and they shall do exploits someone go ahead and pray you are a God of love you are a God of grace you are a God of mercy you are a God of judgment you are a God of compassion great and mighty powerful and awesome powerful indeed and awesome all powerful take a minute to pray shake away unbelief from your life Listen to me. Please hear me. When you know who God is, you will believe everything he tells you. When you know who God is, you will be able to distinguish between his voice and the voice of doubt, the voice of fear, the voice of your past, the voice of yesterday. There is, as it were, many voices. And the apostle says, none of them is without signification. This moment as I speak to you, Satan is also attempting to speak to you. 2023 is still speaking to you too. Wanting to bring his jealousy into 2024. To repeat your pain again. To repeat your misery again. Yesterday is very jealous. It seeks to reproduce itself into your today. It takes you holding the shield of... Let the redeemed of the Lord not think so. Not wish so. Not assume so. If the redeemed of the Lord says so, then the healed of the Lord will say so. The blessed of the Lord will say so. The lifted of the Lord will say so. You have been thinking so. Wonderful. But it's time to say so. Say what? What God has said. It is the word confession, homologio, to repeat as you have heard. Consistent with what he has said. Hallelujah. When men say there is a casting down, we decree and declare that there is a lifting up. Is that true? Gentiles come to my light. They are kings to the brightness of my rising. In the name of Jesus, where I have been deserted so that no man would pass through me, I become an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. The wisdom of God is at work in my spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, going from glory to glory. This is not Pentecostal gibberish. It's how we create realities in the spirit. What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest them. When ye pray, when ye pray fervently, when ye pray effectually or effectively. And this is the confidence that we have, that when we ask anything according to his will, we know that he heareth us. Someone pray in one minute. in the name of Jesus, Sebra Keparusiata Apareketa Breka Verekatas, Skaleka Parekatas Kabrandeka Velekata. Grace, grace, grace to pray, and this time around with passion, with fervency, and then with word compliancy. 
respecting the supremacy of the word respecting the supremacy of the will of god as revealed in scripture respecting the supremacy of the will of god as channeled through the wisdom of the spirit someone pray obtain grace obtain grace obtain grace obtain grace obtain grace like little money many things like increases financial increases few things like maybe whatever it is and then many things God rewards with things I will make the ruler over many things it says enter thou into the joy of the Lord I'm praying for you whatever is needed for life and godliness I know you have loved the Lord some of you love the Lord in lack you love the Lord in pain but whatever provision must be in place for you to enjoy God this year may my God gravitate it towards you if giving you your own house will give you the peace to serve God this year may the reward I reward you with it If giving you a greater job will be what will help you serve God well, may my God make it happen for you this year. If entering your marital destiny or having your children, are we together, or blessing your spouse, anything around your family life is what will make you serve God well, may my God make it happen this year. And if money is what will help you serve God well, that this, this trauma of lack and telling lies and stealing and living a false life because of the absence of economic means, if having resources will help you work in integrity to stop lying and manipulating people, in the name of Jesus, may my God make it happen for you. Please just hold those. I'm seeing light now. This is light. Just resting on people. It's an impartation. Light. I've come in the volume of the book. It was written about me. In the volume of the book, it was written about me to do your will, oh God. I've come in the volume, I've come in the volume of the book, it was written about me to do your will, oh God. I've come in the volume, I've come in the volume of the book, it was written about me. So no matter whatever may come my way, I'll follow, I'll 
fall, I'll fall, I'll fall No matter whatever may come my way rewards God rewards the Bible says be steadfast unmovable abounding in the work of the Lord knowing that you will receive a reward from the Lord if your labor is in the Lord if your labor is in Christ if your prayers if your prayers for your children your prayers for your spouse your giving for souls if it is true that you are doing it in the Lord my Bible says there is a reward. My Bible says there is a reward. Listen, please sit down. Sit down. I want you to be very sensitive. Sit down. Can I tell you? Do you know how God rewards? There are rewards that will come to you whose the harvest of seeds you cannot remember sowing is because someone connected to you sowed it but the person is no more but since God is just he will have to look for someone from that bloodline to and prove his faithfulness I'm saying this because there are many of you your loved ones are dead but they serve God they gave to the work of the kingdom you will marvel and wonder that God will look for you since you did not sow but because you are part of the natural descent of those people God will visit you with anointings, visit you with prosperity, visit you with graces in the name of Jesus Christ. It is true. Listen, it's not only causes that are transgenerational. Blessings are transgenerational. He's called the God of Isaac. The God of, of um, the God of Isaac Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. There is a reason why he's called that way. Do you believe what you are hearing? Ah, look, when I begin to speak these prophetic words, open your spirit and receive and watch the God who rewards men and watch the God who wipes tears. And watch the God who takes away shame and watch the God who can end reproach in the life of people come on turn this revelation to prayer in one minute oh you will reward you will reward you are a God who does not fail you will reward to the third and fourth generation you will reward Reward with power, reward with good things, reward with your presence. In the next one minute, we are going to pray as a global family. Be it unto us, Lord, we believe. Be it unto us, everything you have said concerning 2024 from january till december we believe go ahead and pray you're holding the hands of someone we are engaging the weapon of unity and we're making faith declarations lord we believe over january over february over march over april over may june july august september october november december 2024 we agree there will be no death no shame no mockery outside are you praying overflows are you praying koinonia global pray body of christ those connected this is not just for koinonia it is a reality that extends to the body of christ 
we can tap by faith with understanding hold the hands of someone make declarations of faith in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus we decree and declare be it unto us everything you have said be it unto us that this year the profit that comes from loving you from serving you will be evidence to all and sundry we believe surprises by the spirit change of levels by the spirit mighty manifestations greater anointings by the spirit unctions by the spirit signs and wonders by the spirit extraordinary wealth and abundance by the spirit settlements of all kinds by the spirit testimonies by the spirit this we believe this we receive We believe. Pray in one minute. Increases of every kind in the name of Jesus. Spiritual growth. Increase. Breaking lips and bounds by the Spirit of God, by the Spirit of grace. Yeshua Hamashia Komina Nakane Yeshua Hamashia Komina Nakane Yeshua Hamashia Komina Nakane Yeshua Hamashia Komina Nakane Yeshua go ahead and pray we hand over koinonia we hand over our sound of revival conferences we hand over our global conference we hand over every miracle service we hand over our destinies our health our marriages our finances our children we cannot fail this year we experience elevations of that kind hand over your career hand over your spiritual life mother hand over your children they are safer with him than with you father hand over your family hand over your affairs don't hold it to yourself in pride you will lose and lose and lose again Hand over your business, hand over your company, hand over your job, preachers, hand over your ministry. Hand over your music ministry, hand over your apostolic ministry. Hand over the prophetic ministry. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I believe in Jesus. I really do. I believe in his power. 
I believe in his power to turn around a life. Do you know, there are many people who don't know what a turnaround is. They think it's a Pentecostal language. A turnaround is, is just, it's just a way, it's a frustrated way of describing the way God turns a man's story. We just call it turnaround. When God gives you rest roundabout, that you look left, right, forward, backward, and all you see is the faithfulness of God, it's called a turnaround. I just described someone's testimony tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, may my God give you a turn around that you look around your life and all you see is his faithfulness rise up on your feet full of faith and let's pray shout this after me say father one more time say father tonight I believe that you are the God of all grace and I declare that my faith is ready to receive open your mouth and begin to pray in one minute ready to receive ready to receive ready to receive my healing ready to receive a sent word a global family make sure you pray release your faith as you pray ready to receive a miraculous manifestation ready to receive my miracle children my miracle spouse, are you praying? Ready to receive miracle open doors. It's a miracle service. It must answer to its name in my life. Lift your voice and pray. All the overflows pray, outside pray. Our online family, release your faith. I release my faith. It's a new season in ministry. I release my faith. A new season for my finances. I release my faith. A new season for my family. Someone is praying. A new season for ministry. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now I'm going to give you the next two or three minutes. You're going to mention specifics. The very areas you are trusting God to attend to. I know that you came with your prayer request. But I'm talking about areas that God will visit now as we pray. You know the areas of pain and concern. Be the prophet of your destiny. Open up your mouth and begin to place a demand. I'm releasing my faith with you. Go ahead and pray. Some of you is healing. Some of you is children. Some of you miracle marriages, a miracle spouse, miracle open doors. Some of you, you are trusting God to give you rest roundabout. Come on now, pray to the God of all grace, the God of all grace, the God of all flesh. Some of you greater anointing, greater prophetic fire, greater apostolic fire, greater levels of wisdom, greater levels of insight, financial favor, strange connection to help us of destiny. Some of you are praying for peace. Some of you are praying for increase, enlargement. God desires to give you all things freely. All things freely. Don't be silent. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, I'm trusting you to bring me out of financial calamity by the wisdom of God, by the favor of God, by the mercy of God. Turn my captivity. Turn my mourning to dancing, sorrow to joy. Heal me, O oh Lord, and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved. You 
are my rock, my fortress, my salvation. A few more seconds, you are praying. You are praying seriously to the God that answers prayers. Let this demonic oppression over my life, let this demonic oppression over my family, let this mysterious attack over my health, attack over my relevance, attack over my person, attack over my business, let it give way tonight. name of Jesus majesty majesty your grace has found me just as I am empty handed but alive in your hand In the name of Jesus, who is by the name Shola? I'm hearing a name Shola. That should be a Yoruba name. Shola, the Lord is speaking to me. Shola, if, if, if that is, I want to speak to that person very quickly. Shola, wherever you are, if you are in here, please let me speak to you very quickly. I'm hearing the name Shola. Shortly, we're going to be ministering deliverance. There are people who have gone under all kinds of demonic siege. Shola, where is Shola? I'm hearing a Hausa name, Godia. Godia means Thanksgiving in Hausa. That should be someone's name. Your name is Godia. Who is that person? Please come and stand here. Your season has come. In the name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who you are. Your name is not given to me, but you work in an oil and gas company. You work in an oil and gas company. The Lord told you I was going to call you when you come here. Come. Who is that person? You walk in an oil. Please make sure you are not rash. Don't just jump and come out carelessly. You walk in an oil and gas company. Alanto salicre feneca paratos calibre de balandoxia. Ah, Majesty. You walk in an oil and gas company. Shola, I want to pray for your family. Where is Shola? I want to, all of you are Shola. Make sure that's no, I'm not saying you are standing for your brother or sister. If it's not you, just remain where you are. I want to pray for you because the Lord is telling me that He wants to open a door for the family, not just the individual. A door for the family. I'm going to pray for you, but this is for the family. Shola, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands and I decree and declare. Godia, the power of God is coming on you. The power of God is coming on you. The power of God is coming on you. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, the yoke of darkness, the yoke of darkness, causes that have tied your life down, tied your family down, in the name that is above all names. I'm releasing the power of God over your life now. Let those forces give way now. What God says to one, he says to all. So that I'm speaking to them does not mean you should not receive. 
I'm saying it again. These forces of darkness, as they are being delivered, I decree and declare, anyone going through a similar oppression be delivered now. Shola, the Lord is visiting your family, not just you. Family, help that gentleman. Your family, I curse that spirit right now and I declare divine visitation. Divine visitation. Divine visitation. I don't know what God is doing for someone in an oil and gas company, but I'm hearing the Lord saying you will own your own. You will own your own. You will own your own. I'm just saying it as God is putting it in my heart. I decree and declare, let that man to rest on you now. Let that man to rest on you now. Let that grace rest on you now. You will marvel and wonder at the power of prophecy. Let it rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing rain oil. Rain oil. R-A-I-N-O-I-L. I believe that's, I think it's a filling station or something like that. Or a company. Rain oil. Who works there? Rain oil. My friend, do you believe in the power of prophecy? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do. Where are you from? From Ghana. What am I seeing you do in UK? United Kingdom. Go and write it. Your days are numbered. God I'm is going to, to move you to a place of destiny. You believe that? Yes, I, do. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. Let that anointing rest upon you. Let it be a new season for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oil and gas. God is still speaking to me. You will own your own. This is what God is telling me. I'm prophesying it. I have to, once the word has gone forth, I know that it has left. I'm praying again. Whoever needs to receive this word, I decree and declare, let it rest upon you like the dew of Hammer. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And for the Godia person I prophesy to, I decree and declare, one testimony after another. This is how you begin to celebrate them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I'm not ministering deliverance to people yet, but pick someone from Kogi State. A strong anointing is going to fall on a lady now. She's from Kogi State. Bring her here. Please return back to your seat. Kogi State. This is how God does his thing. From Kogi State. Kalanto sali krege berantos kobradizeba. Ebranto zeleke fradige baratos. The Lord is setting a lady from Kogi State. This is her whole family. This thing has existed for more than 50 years. It has tied down the destinies of people. But the fire of God is visiting that lady. She's representing a family from Kogi State. Please bring her here. What God says to one, he says to all. But this is a particular word for someone from Kogi State. Kogi State. There's a lady called Mary. I'm seeing the power of God come on a lady called Mary. Who is Mary? The power of God is resting upon that lady. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, you will recover. You will recover. You will recover. You will recover in the name of Jesus Christ. You will recover. I'm prophesying the word of recovery for one Mary. Mary, the Lord is speaking to you in the name of Jesus Christ. How forcible are right words. When God brings a prophetic word, just know that an end has come to that situation. Madam, Mary, I declare be set free now. Be set free now. In the name of Jesus. There's someone by the left side of the balcony. I'm seeing like fire resting on someone by the left side of the balcony you may not be able to help please help the person so they don't injure themselves the left side of the balcony the lord is telling me i am changing your story i am changing your story the left side of the balcony what he says to one he says to all 
let there be that deliverance for you in Jesus name in Jesus name now hear me everyone who is going to respond to this prophetic declaration let me tell you what you'll be responding to the spirit of stagnation has tied you down I'm about to pray for you and the power of God will rest on you all those who are coming under the anointing now when that anointing rests on you just know that you have been delivered from stagnation I want you to bring them out ushers I decree and declare as the Lord is ministering to me everyone here who has suffered stagnation you have been kept at the same level in the name of Jesus I decree and declare right now let the power of the Holy Spirit locate you where you are and bring you deliverance now Look, apareke parus kete pregata. Locate you where you are. Stagnated in life, stagnated in destiny. Be delivered now. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray that everything that represents stagnancy, pegging me, keeping me in the same position, I take authority over it in Jesus' name. Is someone praying? Please bring them out. Everyone under the influence of this demonic spirit of stagnation gives way now. Stagnation in life and in destiny. Stagnation in life and in destiny. Outside, all the overflows following online. Be set free this moment. Be set free this moment. paratos. By the power of the Holy Ghost, be released to go forward. Be released to go forward. Be released now. Be released in the name of Jesus. Be released to go forward in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please bring them out quickly. I want to pray something the Lord is putting in my heart now. I remember praying this prayer during one of the miracle services and the Lord is asking me to pray. There is something connected to a demonic lineage of priesthood connected to a family. Demonic lineage of priesthood. Whether someone from that family and that lineage directly served idols or was a medium to contacting the divine and this thing has affected many families I want to pray for you right now wherever you are I stretch my hands I want you to bring them out my God there is a mighty deliverance about to happen everything by demonic orchestration that has tied everyone here who has come by the blood of the eternal covenant be released now be released now I set those altars on fire now. On fire now. On fire now. Aparakos ketebelekata. On fire now. Now that you are born again, I break the chain between you and ancestry. The chain between you and idol worship. The chain between you and superstition. In the name of Jesus Christ. Break free from idol worship. The Lord is setting people free. You may not even know that this has tied your destiny down. But the Lord sent you here tonight to experience liberty. Liberty indeed. Again, I'm praying for someone. Every cord that has tied you to the yokes of ancestry, the covenant of darkness and dark powers, in the name of Jesus, be delivered this moment. Bring them out. Be delivered this moment. Everyone's name that is on any demonic altar, for your destruction, for chaos, and for anarchy, if the blood could blot out every handwriting, then I decree and declare every coven carrying your name, carrying your mission, carrying your destiny, let it be consumed by fire now. Consumed by fire now. Consumed by fire now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Kalate Paratos Cabrida Meleke Paranto Sigetesh Lecro Sabira to Sabrenda Baladus Kiata. Good things never stay in your hands. It comes, but it leaves. It comes, but it leaves. Just when you are about to hold good news, something happens and it loses from your hand. I pray for you, whoever this person is, by this prophetic word, everything causing good things to slip out of your hands. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. Magdalene. I'm hearing a name Magdalene. I'm about to pray for the sick now. But I'm hearing a name Magdalene. And the Lord is telling me he's bringing restoration for Magdalene. He's bringing restoration. It will be like a dream restoration that before the end of november magdalene i don't know who that person is in the name of jesus god is bringing supernatural restoration whatever it is that you have lost by this prophetic word i speak to you experience restoration in the name of jesus now let's pray i'm going to minister deliverance proper now in the next two three minutes I believe in deliverance I do absolutely I believe that people can be victims of satanic conditions and oppressions and behind many inexplicable situations are demonic occurrences it's about to give way now I'm going to ask you to shout that name Jesus you do not shout it as a ritual it's not a journey or a some kind of mental formula I will ask you to shout it by the spirit there is an anointing upon that instruction remember what I taught you at the shout of that name Jesus anyone who is under the influence of any kind of yoke familiar spirits the workings of darkness as you shout that name just once with faith in your heart fire will rest upon your life and through you rest upon your family I want you to quickly bring those people out so that I'll pray for them and then I want to pray for the sick in the name that is above all names father you have called this a miracle service there are lives and destinies under all kinds of yokes i decree and declare for everyone under the sound of my voice every spirit that has oppressed you every negative condition that is demonically engineered as you shout that name be free once and for all are you ready now one two three shout jesus be free now be released now Outside, be released. All the overflows, be released. Inside, be released. The balconies, be released. Connecting online, be released in the name of Jesus. Please bring them out very quickly. By the power of the Holy Spirit, bring them out. In the name of Jesus, oppressions of wickedness, be set free right now. Yokes, causes, ancestry, orchestrations of delay, orchestrations of retrogression. Be set free now for that gentleman, for that sister, that daughter of Abraham. Be set free now. Be set free now. Be set free now. In the name of Jesus. Bring them out. I'm praying for them by the power of the Holy Spirit you have been kept in one location in one place nothing moves in your life nothing grows in your life nothing changes in your life today as you encounter this anointing I pray for you may God move you forward may God move you forward in a fearful dimension may God move you forward move you forward move your children forward move your family forward in the name of Jesus hallelujah the Lord is speaking to me and is ministering to me that some of you came here so that you will be found of God God wants to raise people in your family 
that becomes an access point for him and that there are many of you he brought here and there is an anointing this one is not deliverance this one is an impartation god wants to locate you by an anointing to show you that he has put upon you the mantle of a savior over your family i don't know where you are but in the name of jesus as you hear me i decree and declare let that oil locate you let that grace locate you ordained to be the savior of your family still bring them out in the name of jesus i decree receive an impartation receive an impartation receive an impartation receive an impartation some of you will be the first to bail your family financially some of you will be the first to introduce jesus to your family some of you will be the first to help your your loved ones to rise beyond a certain level anyone called into that ministry i place grace on your life now i place grace on your life now Ah, someone is saying, Lord, here am I, send me, send me, send me. I'm still praying for you again. You came to contact grace. You may be the, the weakest. You may be a male, a female, it doesn't matter. I pray for you one more time. An anointing from heaven. Let it land on your head right now. Let it rest on your destiny right now. I'm hearing in my spirit that rejected stone. That rejected stone. I don't know what has made you rejected. Maybe in your family, maybe in your destiny, maybe among your contemporaries. Let me prophesy upon you. That rejected stone. Let an anointing rest upon you now. Rest upon you now rest upon you now for an extraordinary destiny let it rest upon you now open your mouth and shout say father say it again say father in the name of jesus i take my place in life and destiny open your mouth and pray i take my place the place ordained for me the place commissioned for me lo i come in the volume of the book i may be ordinary but there is an ordination upon my life i may be ordinary but there is a grace on my destiny and in this season i decree and declare that i walk in the reality of my call i walk in the reality of my assignment the reality of my call the reality of my assignment in the name of Jesus, for all those in front here, I decree and declare every oppression of darkness over your life. I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant, it gives way now. It gives way now. Every legal access Satan has over your life, I declare that access broken now. In the name of Jesus, return to your seat rejoicing. I'm hearing the cry of babies, children. I'm hearing the cry of babies like, you know, like a baby crying. And when God ministers like this, I know that someone is about to receive the miracle of the fruit of the womb. I don't know who is trusting God, whether for yourself or for your loved one. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ, according to the time of life, return with your miracle children. Return with twins and triplets in the name of Jesus Christ. Where you have tried and tried and tried and tried and it's not seemed to work. I release an anointing upon you and I decree and declare that this time around it will be your testimony. This time around it will be your testimony. This time around it will be your testimony. But you see, every time you see stagnancy where there was once motion, it means that Satan has hijacked that process. For you, it may not be a house you are building. 
it may be a destiny you are building it may be your business you are building it may even be your spiritual life you are building that you started on a journey successfully so and for some reason satan hijacked it in the name of jesus christ i pray for someone who is willing to receive by the power that raised christ from the dead what you have started may it finish in your lifetime may it be finished in your lifetime in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ now hear me i want to take a few minutes and pray a very special prayer for your finances if you don't believe that prayers can be offered over someone's finances and god will change the person's story then you are not a christian are we together by the message of God and with every sense of humility, I know a bit about finances. I understand the laws of wealth, but I know that there is a grace from God that can bail a man out. Do you know, when I was praying, I had to take the time to browse the major needs of Africans. I just took out time. I wanted to know, not just by word of knowledge, because ministers of the gospel are solution providers are we together and do you know let me tell you the truth i got to find out and many of you will honestly admit here that as it is right now many believers love jesus already so it's not an issue of not being serious spiritually the major issue with people right now right now i was having a haircut and i was discussing with the person who was barbing my hair and I was just joking I said tell me how much a bag of rice is now and he said it's I think 95,000 or something like that or, or 100 or something and I was just joking I said well I'm sure that who knows by December now just in the next one or two months you will be surprised that you'll be a hundred and something even you know as it always does there are many people who are stranded financially children have been driven back home by responsible parents just because they are incapacitated they've gotten to a point where their salaries cannot do so much that is the truth many people are gainfully employed gone are the days where these lazy people who are crying for lack of money right now people who have been working perhaps in the civil service uh, doing the very best that they know to do let me tell you the truth if you think the church cannot profess solution to financial problems then you have limited the god of the bible when god steps in he is able to supply all our needs in order of spiritual priority your spiritual needs but the god who can only solve your spiritual problems cannot be called the lord of all the one who you call lord of all is the one who is vast and powerful enough to attend to all and any matter of concern are we together so I'm just telling you that when we get to the place where I'm speaking over your finances, please don't keep quiet. I submit to you by the grace of God, this house is like Goshen contrasting to Egypt. That while there was darkness in Egypt, there was light in Goshen. And if God has shown us mercy, you should not be a part of this vision and then be looking left and right, wondering where bread comes from. We have found a fountain in the spirit where waters flow without end. It is by the riverside. We don't wait for rainy or dry season. We have found help. It's an oasis that flows from the rock and it will never, never go dry. Never. Never. Never go dry. Are we together? You can only give what you have all. If you don't have it, you cannot give it. By the grace of God, God has shown us mercy even in the area of finances. This is why the temptation to manipulate is a temptation that dies on arrival. It is unnecessary and it is foolish. Do you know why? Because when God helps you and gives you capacity in an area, he has also empowered you to resist the tendency for temptation in that area. When someone is eating and is full, you can't tempt the person with food. It won't work. There are many, many believers who love Jesus. Some of you right now, you are neck deep into all kinds of debt. Personal debt, corporate debt. There are churches, men and women of God who love the Lord. 
and their churches are about to close because they are not able to pay the bills. I know a God who is merciful and kind, faithful and gracious. I'm the apple of his eyes, the thought that fills his heart every morning, noon, and night. Hold on. Praise the name of the Lord. Hold on. The Lord is showing me something that I saw many years ago and I'm seeing it again. He's reminding me of a vision that he showed me where I was holding bread and the bread had honey. As I just raised this song, this is what I saw. You see, I, I've shared that vision here and people were not seeing the machine. There was a machine that I was the only one who was seeing it and it was producing bread and in case of butter, it was putting honey in the middle. You could press it and honey was coming out and there were multitudes joining the queue. And all I was doing was to serve the bread and honey. And then people would take it and call their neighbors and friends. They would join the queue again. And the shocking thing in that vision was that it never got exhausted. It didn't matter how many times they were joining the queue. You see, there is a dimension of our call and assignment that attends to the welfare of God's people. It's a grace. It's not a desire. It's a grace. It's a grace. I will worship him forever, love him forever, because this God is too good. I will worship him forever, love him forever, because this God is too good. Hallelujah. I want to pray for the sick right now i will pray for the sick and will come back to this finance thing please open up your heart to receive something on your head this night for your finances if you don't believe it no problem you can do whatever you know to do but allow those who believe it to receive are we together now don't interrupt another person's believing we believe all kinds of things about finances and everyone we live in a world where God gives you the liberty to believe what you want to believe and receive of the fruit of your understanding. Hallelujah. Lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Now please, this is the prophetic instruction. I want you to listen carefully. I'm going to rebuke sickness now. Please, if you came sick, this is your moment. Remember, you prayed for an opportunity to discern. I'm going to minister to you by the spirit of grace and the moment I minister to you I want you to check yourself if you need to use the medical stand I want you to run there and confirm it for instance if it's high blood pressure you can go to the medical stand and confirm or you can go to the convenience and confirm depending on what your situation is but I'm going to pray quickly and then I noticed for a month or two we've not had the time to take testimonies we'll take a few testimonies right now it's important that we give an opportunity for people to testify and uh, we'll work with the time we have we have to take testimony so please listen as the power of God touches you some of you as you came under the anointing upon returning back to your seat you found out that the pain the discomfort everything is gone the moment I pray for you and I ask you to come if you are in the overflow outside make your way very quickly just tell the ushers and the protocol that I am coming to testify they will test you and allow you to come and um, you'll be allowed to stay at my left or my right and there'll be a few people who will just confirm you and will take a few testimonies for those who are following online i'm going to pray and release miracles right now particularly healing miracles the moment that happens we have our helplines the pr lines i want you to send in your testimony we'll take one or two to celebrate the good hand of god now if you came here listen carefully if you came here with a walking aid a crutch perhaps a wheelchair, some kind of aid, and you know that you have a bone condition, I'm going to start with you. Whether you are outside any of the overflows, when I pray for you, I'd like you to believe that you receive strength and I want you to do what you could not do before. And once we have a miracle confirmed for you and for any other person, there are others who were brought maybe on stretchers, others could not work, others you are not able to see, 
others you are not able to hear others you're having blood conditions palpitations you know all kinds of things release your faith now to receive place your hand where you are trusting God for a miracle and speak to the Lord in one minute and I release that grace upon you you can stand in for your loved one they may not be here physically but I like you to believe for a miracle for them and as we always do there are hospitals there are clinics there are medical places that are people now are right now following uh, life and they're about to receive miracles for their loved ones I want you to encourage your loved ones to release their faith and the moment we pray we'll be glad to hear your testimonies I see people laying hands on photos believe God for a miracle the Bible says he that cometh to God must come believing that he exists I am a living testament of the healing power of Jesus I know he heals I know he heals blessed be the name of the Lord place your hand I want to pray for you now blessed be the Lord God Almighty who was the knees and is to come blessed be the Lord God Almighty who reigns forever in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God I take authority over every spirit of infirmity every spirit of infirmity every spirit of infirmity blood conditions spirits responsible for palpitations bone conditions deteriorations of organs I take authority over you by the blood of the eternal covenant and I decree and declare that you leave God's people now I declare that you leave God's people now by the power of the Holy Ghost let the anointing of the Holy Spirit surge through your being right now surge through your body right now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet I declare over everyone here sick in body be healed now shout a believing amen be healed now lumps and all kinds of satanic growths in your body I command it to dissolve and to disappear now mobility problems you are not able to walk you are not able to stand you're having bone problems neck problems in the name of Jesus be healed now you have any kind of eye condition you are not able to see or see clearly I declare over your eyes let the power of God touch your eyes now I speak to anyone who is here deaf be healed in the name of Jesus let the deafness be unstopped right now in Jesus name anyone who is suffering from any blood condition blood condition the issue of blood or any kind of blood condition be healed in the name of Jesus I was so touched by the testimony that was shared here I think it was um, was it online or on site the person who had you know from would throw up anything that they they ate and drank I decree and declare any digestive problem that you have your suffering from be healed right now in Jesus name there's someone you have a circulation problem it's like something that has to do with excess fat in your body blood is not able to flow and circulate well the Lord is healing you right now in Jesus name you have a neck problem I don't know if you came with a bracelet or whatever aid but I decree and declare that neck is healed right now shoulder pain be healed right now knee pain be healed right now in the name of Jesus kidney problems you have any kidney problem I declare that that kidney stone or whatever it is it is flushed out of your body now flushed out of your body now you have a respiratory problem there's someone you have a serious respiratory problem it makes you to snore you snore very seriously in the name of Jesus be healed right now 
be healed right now. Be healed right now. There is a woman, I'm seeing that you have something like a growth and that growth is stopping you from taking in. This is what I'm seeing. You have a growth and the growth is stopping you from taking in. I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that that growth shrinks and leaves your body. And you will feel it within your body that a miracle has happened. In the name of Jesus. There's someone you've been having a very severe, I don't know what your problem you're having with your tongue. Your tongue. Very severe. Is it pain? Is it irritation or discomfort? Very severe irritation. I declare to you, be healed right now in Jesus' name. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. Cancers of any and all sorts, whatever stage it is, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Anyone having a speech problem for you or your child, be healed now in the name of Jesus. Anyone believing God for an autistic child, we release the power of God and we declare healing right now in Jesus' name. Every mental health challenge, anyone who was brought here mad or brought here with any kind of psychosomatic condition, I decree and declare be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Now, whether I mention your case or not, I want you to be healed. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. I want to lay hands on one person. I'm going to ask you to check yourself, but the Lord is mentioning someone's case for me and I am, the Lord is asking me to minister to you. This started from a dream. Listen carefully, please. Don't be careless to come out just because I said I would lay hands. It started from a dream. It's like you were fed with something in a dream. And from that time you woke up, you don't know the name of what is wrong with you, but you are losing weight. You are losing weight. It's like a demonic thing. I want to pray for that person very quickly. You woke up from a dream. And from the time you woke up from that dream, you've not been able to diagnose exactly what is wrong with you. But you are emaciating, you are losing weight. I want to know that person. I want to pray for you. It's a demonic thing. Hallelujah. We are still praying for the sick. Are we receiving? In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone, it's not, I don't know, it's your chest. I, I'm not sure it's directly your breast, but around your chest area, there's been something, a very, a, like a mast, something not directly on your breast, but are, are maybe the upper part of your chest, like a mast forming. In the name of Jesus, I want to pray for you. That demonic, satanic thing gives way right now. Shout a believing amen. It gives way right now. It gives way right now. It gives way right now. A demonic thing. Who brought this woman? Who brought her? Come and tell us what is wrong with her. If she's not able to stand, give her a seat. I want to know what is wrong with her. Who brought her? She's your mom? No, she's my husband's your husband's what come again my husband's father's elder sister okay what happened to her this happened in 2021 after my husband passed your husband passed yes sir so in a dream i saw that i was injected since then i've been losing a serious weight i was 125 before i keep dropping 70 something so it's a long story but i came purposely because i'm a member of this ministry online 24 hours i watch this program i said i have to come here today i flew last week to abuja and so you're incapacitated look at this kind yes, of sir. demonic thing that Are you my leg this? i had a stroke mini stroke in may the 10th of may in orlando florida since then, I've been going from hospital to a hotel. Hospital, I went to, I was supposed to come to Virginia. I mean, I was supposed to come to Madame, Dallas. Hold on. The power of God is coming on you, this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, this one you're holding. I decree and declare. 
I just saw like oil dropping on your head. I decree and declare whatever demonic thing lives now. I bring you life, bring you healing by the Spirit of God. Now watch this. We're going to do this very, very quickly. My God, such miracles are happening to people. I'm going to lay hands on all of these people by myself. I think that should be enough. Those who are here, the power of God has touched you. I want you to check yourself very quickly and make your way to the front here. We want to give you an opportunity. Do not fail to testify. The medical, now hold on please. Let me give you an instruction. The medical stand is right there. If you need to confirm a miracle from the medics, whether you are outside any of the overflow, please take advantage of it. But I want you to check yourself. You see that a miracle has happened. Um, there will be people standing by my left and right. Please very quickly, boldly, don't sit back when a miracle has happened. Let others be blessed from that which you have received. Make your way very boldly to the front and then um, come and share your testimony. But let me minister to these people by the Spirit of God. You can see that these are very demonic conditions by the power of the Holy Spirit. Very demonic situations. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, be set free now. In the name of Jesus, be set free now. The truth. By the power of the Holy Spirit. So I pray for you, check yourself. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic orchestration be healed now by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Just, just leave them. I'll lay my hands on them. I've been given instructions to pray for you. and thank the Lord for this miracle. Yes. In the month of June. Hold on, please. In the month of June. Yes. I was in Virginia. Hold on, please. Just a moment. In the month of June, sir, I was in Virginia. June 15 in the hospital. I had a dream that you visited me. I was, I was in a place like this where yes. I ministering. And I say, Apostle Selma, Dan la kagama yesu ye bani sabon jiki ye bani sabon rei and he has answered you 
Look at me in Jesus name. Let's walk together one more time. Are you celebrating a miracle? A real manifestation of the power of God. Come. Come, madam. Give Jesus praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. I was... Yes. Then after that, we were like in a dormitory, the second encounter. And you came in the midst of the double beds. Yes. And you were telling me that, just be encouraged. Whoever did this thing... Hold on. I'm seeing a vision. I don't know if someone came here with a walking aid, a crutch, whether inside or outside. I want you to lift it and walk. I don't know who that person is. Lift it and walk. Whether you are outside in the overflow, I just saw this vision. There is a grace for it. Lift it and walk wherever you are. In the name of Jesus, I declare perfection. Let's celebrate God for this woman's miracle. Have I prayed for her? Bring her. Bring her. Let's celebrate her miracle. I'm not sure there will be room for her to testify since it's already done. In the name of Jesus Christ, be set free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. My God, look at that. Let's celebrate her. Now, hallelujah. If you've been touched by the power of God, we need to do this very quickly. Um, even if it's just one or two very mighty things that God is doing in this place. One or two people, we need to take a few testimonies. If there are testimonies, whilst that is happening, I want you to quickly submit your prayer requests. Your prayer requests, and let's have that. Those who are coming to testify, um, please, I'd like you to make way for them very quickly. You check yourself. You've seen that a miracle has happened. Um, I see a group of people there. If they are coming out, please clear the way for them very quickly. Let's have a few of those testifiers. Are you celebrating what Jesus is doing? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Make sure you don't sit back if you have a testimony. Let's take a few of them very, very quickly, very quickly. Whilst we're doing that, please submit your prayer request. You are in this place and you're trusting God. Hold on, please. Hallelujah. Is he able to walk now? He's taking it gradually. Let, let me know. Let me know what is happening there. Hallelujah. The power of God is going to come on a woman trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Just, it's not something mechanical. Wherever you are, uh, I'm, it may not be every woman trusting God for the fruit of the womb, but it's, it's a, the Lord is speaking to me. When that anointing rests upon you, just know that your season of waiting has come to an end. Hallelujah. And so the Lord is asking me to pray before we take a few testimonies of the mighty hand of God. will be very fast. There is, I believe that there are many people trusting God, but there is a woman. And as I'm speaking now, in the name of Jesus, you are married, you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I'm not saying you are standing for someone. Lord, I am praying. Wherever this woman is that you have ministered to me, like Elijah to the widow in Zarephath, or the woman in Shunem, I decree and declare right now, as you have spoken, let your anointing locate that woman, whether in this auditorium, whether at the overflows, outside, or connecting online. I decree and declare, let that anointing rest upon you now. Rest upon you now. And I prophesy to you that according to the time of life, you will return with your miracle child. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Let's celebrate Jesus in one moment for the mighty things that he has done. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Let's sir. have a few testimonies. So, Apostle, you gave a word of knowledge yes, regarding sir. someone actually irritation on the tongue. Praise the Lord. 
So when you were ministering, you say you don't know what it is, but there's someone feeling pain on his tongue. Yes. And for the past three days, I've been experiencing that pain. But after the word came forth, the pain is gone. In the Hallelujah. name of Jesus, it never returns. Let's celebrate what God is doing. God bless you, sir. Yes. Daddy, you made mention of someone that ate in the dream. I had a dream last year, and I ate something like chicken. By the time I bite the chicken, I saw worms in it. I woke up from in that the dream. dream. Yes, I woke up in, from that dream, and I felt a movement on my throat. So since then, I've had issues of uh, ulcer, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high insulin. And they said my liver was enlarged. So you mentioned my case this evening. I walked out here. You prayed for me. All the symptoms I was feeling, they are gone and Come gone on now. forever. Are you celebrating Jesus? Jesus? Let me use this opportunity and pray for you. In the name of Jesus, where it came from, may it return back there. Amen. I'm saying it to you again. Where it came from, no matter the distance in the spirit, it returns back to hell where it came from. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, sir. Celebrate Jesus for his testimony. Praise the Lord. Uh, I went for my mom's burial two months ago. They asked me to help them carry her. You went for your mom's burial? Yes. Where? In Kogi State. Okay. After I helped them to draw, they said I should assist them. There are people carrying cars, but they insisted I should help them. Since after then I helped them, my neck, for two months, I couldn't sleep. If I turn neck, I couldn't turn it completely. But for now, I can't. Completely. That, that demonic arrow returns back to hell. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen and amen. Okay, Benga, go ahead. Apostle, she had an accident. She fell into a hole for about a month, so she had difficulty in walking. She fell and, into a hole? Yes, and they told her never to climb a stair. So while she was invited for the service, her friend now kept a seat for her up the back body. So by faith, she was there, and while the prayer was going on, the power of God fell on her, and then she can now walk, no pain in her leg. Look at this. Come, climb these stairs. Careful. Let's celebrate Jesus. Ah, it's enough. Oh. This lady has faith. May God bless you. Come on, celebrate her miracle. Gone forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. She had an accident last year and then she was operated upon by her right hand. So she couldn't lift the hand. But as prayer was going on, she... She couldn't lift the hand. hand. Yes, sir. Let the devil see it. Lift it now. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Any pain. In the name of Jesus, the Lord perfects your healing. It never returns to you again. In Jesus' name, let's celebrate our miracle. Yes, please, very quickly. Toothache and pain in her chest and neck healed by the power of God. Toothache and pain. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare perfection for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Yes, please. Okay, you're still working on them? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Pain earlier this year, I can't really turn my neck. So if, I, if I'm writing, I can't like turn. So when you say that we should check ourselves, it started yesterday. So when you say that we should check ourselves, I can't really turn my neck. I can bend. Turn it now, left, right. Turn, I can bend. Any pain? Yes, In the name of Jesus, the Lord brings you healing, perfection by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' right, name. So Apostle, she was actually healed of severe pain. She's been having this. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mine has to do with a severe stomach ache and severe cold. Well, you, the, the father, our daddy said we should lay on where he's painting us. I lay down before he could even pray. He started the prayer, the pain had gone. And when he laid down on me, the cold disappeared. Completely. Yes. In the name of Jesus, restoration of your uh, health. Uh, sir, she's checked with the medical team. She's checked with the medical team. In the name of Jesus not yet. Okay, so after this, you can go and check to verify everything, eh? May the Lord bless you. Your healing is perfected in Jesus' name. God bless you. Good evening. I had this abdominal pain for years. So while we were praying, um, I placed my hand on my abdomen, believing God for healing, and now the pain is gone. Completely. Yes, sir. Place your hand there. I decree and declare perfection for you. You'll never return back again in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Yes, please. Very interesting testimony here, yes, sir. sir. 
Good evening, Apostle. So, when I came to church, I was having a pain on my right breast. Although it wasn't both, but it was severe here. Because I couldn't even hug my friend because it was hurting. But I went to the medical stand now after you prayed for someone with a pain like on the chest. And then the doctor pressed and then the pain is gone. The doctor pressed and there was no pain. Yes. Completely. Yes, sir. Let's celebrate what Jesus is doing in the name of Jesus Christ. You will search for every challenge that brought you here and you will not find it again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you. Perfection for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Are you ready? Go ahead. Pain in our body for over a month, healed by the power of God. Healed service. by the power of God. My dear, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke that spirit. I'm seeing something like a dark shadow on that lady. I declare you are released from it now. Never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Give Jesus praise. You can return to your seat. Next person, quickly. She has had pain in her two knees for over five months that she could not walk perfectly okay now she couldn't climb stairs what couldn't you do i couldn't climb the staircase up and down I you have too to hold the rail but well, as you prayed she now quickly went to climb the stairs ran up and down come and try this one let's see hallelujah praise the lord in the name of jesus we celebrate your miracle it will never return to you again Health and vitality is yours in Jesus' name. Yes. Apostle, you gave a word of knowledge of those who come with walking aid to lift his down. Yes. Our mommy came all the way from UK. And she came from UK. Yes. That's your walking aid. Lift it up. Walk. Lift it up. Lift it up. Look at this. All the way from UK, are you celebrating a miracle? My God, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Everything that is out of joint, everything that is out of structure, out of order in your life, as God has visited our mother, I'm praying for you. Yours may not be pertaining your body, maybe another area of your life, but I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, receive the miracle of realignment. I say to you, if you believe, receive the miracle of realignment. Mommy, we pray for you. I stretch my hands. I declare perfection. Yes. You brought all these prayer requests. Yeah. <laughs> okay. For my children. It's okay. Let me touch it for you. Since you have come all the way. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Careful. You return with a testimony. Every single one of them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, please. Let's see if we can Praise take... Um, Lord. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Praise God. I was here for the first time last week, Sunday, and I was at the balcony. And before I left, I started feeling pain in my arms. I could not do anything with my arm. I couldn't raise it. I couldn't turn my hand anywhere. I even had to cry out to my sister who traveled. And I don't know what is wrong. Nothing happened, but my arm is paining me. Why would I go to church for healing and I'm coming back with pain? That was crazy. What happened now? I, I just I discovered I can do all, like I can move it everywhere. So she's healed now. So you are healed. Completely healed. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ, we receive your miracle and we declare Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you again. Amen. Let's celebrate Jesus for her miracle. So Apostle, she's been having excruciating chest pain. Excruciating chest pain. I, when I was at home, one afternoon, my brother told me that I ate in the dream. He saw me, he always see me eating. Your brother said you? Yes, he's a member of this choir here. Okay. This is my first time of being here. He always tell me, I say, me, eat, how? I can never eat in the dream. It's in the day, I started three days fasting. As I started the three days, first time I started the fast is, as I, as I started the fasting, I saw myself eating, and we prayed. He prayed over. He said, I should come today. As I came today, I came to the miracle, and, and I was now upside when you prayed that. If you're having chest pain, if you have eaten the dream before, and you have having any pain, it's gone immediately. The pain vanished. And Completely. Welcome to Koinonia, darling. This is Koinonia. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. 
Good evening, everyone. Um, I had an injury during COVID. So the whole of COVID, I was not able to walk. COVID? Um, yeah, during COVID. That was 2020. Okay. So during that time, I could not walk. I did not play football. I had the injury while playing football. For some reason, I believed that uh, that was how God wanted it because that was when I got closer to God. But since that time, for like two years now, I've not played football. But right now, after we prayed, I just tried to run now and I was able to run perfectly. You were able to run? Yes, Try it one more time. You are a footballer. Let's go. Ah, this man is a serious footballer. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is a way they run. May God lift you, eh? May God lift you and honor you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes, please. Apostle, she came here very sick. This is her husband. They had gone to the hospital to divide medical attention. And then she couldn't even stay close to the fan. She had gone to the covenants for like eight times in the course of the service. But as you prayed, she fell under the anointing and all the pain is gone. Completely gone. You're welcome, husband and wife. In the name of Jesus Christ, this healing remains permanent. In the name of Jesus Christ, permanent in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate them. God bless you. This is from one of our workers. She has been having a pepperish pain in her back for about two, three months. Yes. But as you prayed, the pain is gone now. And she now. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's celebrate her miracle. She was healed of hepatitis B. The last time she checked, it was positive. But as you prayed, then she went to the medical stand and she tested negative. Com verified by the medical... Verified by our medical practitioner. Let's give Jesus praise. That's a real miracle there. Never returns to you again, darling, in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Okay, I've been... For the past two weeks now, we received a revelation in my family that our, my enemy is going to die. They saw me dead. So we've been praying and I've been, after that revelation, I, I, I became sick, pains all over my body, leg pains. In fact, it has been persisting and I've taken all the medication and still nothing. So even when I came to service today, I went to the medical center to tell them that, in fact, my head, I'm having headache. What happened now? At the end, of, when I went back, they sent me back. Now I can, my legs everywhere, I'm, I'm fine. You won't die in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we declare that you live to declare the works of the Lord. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Another case of hepatitis B healed since 2019. Now she has gone to the medical staff Come on, give and Jesus she's been praise. confirmed negative. Hepatitis B gone. gone. Are you celebrating Jesus for this? It will never return to you again. Never return to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Yes, Pastor Jakes, go ahead. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for healing me of um, a chronic breath, breathless chronic pain. When I was coming this evening, it looked as if I wasn't able to even move my legs at all. One of the protocol can testify to the when I was coming, one of the ushers said I should go outside to sit down. And I told him that, no, I can't stay outside because of my health condition. So he had to call a protocol. They directed me to sit at the gallery downstairs. So as we were ministering, it looked as if like an injection, someone took me an injection where we were declaring. Then I started throwing up, throwing up, throwing up. I even got a lilo, pouring all those people in them. Then immediately I started breathing very well. I, I cannot even move my leg, I can jump. And another time you mentioned someone that is emaciating, something happened in the dream, and somebody started emaciating. Like when I, when I was in second list today, they used to call me Oroba. I was very fat. I grew up in Lagos, so they call Oroba fat people. So now, because what, what now God has visited you miraculously. So, sir, just to quickly add, yes, the beautiful jacket she's wearing on is not just fashion, she actually suffers from severe cold. So she's gone to the medical stand. They've actually checked her. Although the symptoms have actually disappeared, they've encouraged her to actually go for a test. But as she stands now, the symptoms have actually disappeared. You are able to breathe. Yes, I'm even sweaty. I, want, I always wear a jacket because of cold. In the name of Jesus, you will go to the hospital and they will not find anything there Amen. again. We agree. We release our faith with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Can we have one or two so that would... Um, Remember, I'm still supposed to speak over your finances. Are you still interested? Yeah. Hallelujah. Sorry. Praise God. Okay. 
Yes. Yeah, 2020, when she was about get put into bed, when she was about giving birth, the doctor confirmed that it's a challenge that could come for people in pregnancy. She had difficulty in twisting her hand. And since then, she has not been able to do that. But as you were praying, the power of God touched her and she could lift her hand and twist she the hand. She couldn't twist the hand? Yes. How long? For this four years, sir. Four years? If I raise my hand, I'll be heavy. My hand will be squeezed. Since you gave birth? Yes. Okay, try it now. Even before I give birth. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. Any pain. Go ahead. Do what I'm doing. Any pain at all. Let's celebrate Jesus. Let's celebrate Jesus for that supernatural miracle. It will never return to you again. Health, perfection, vitality is yours in Jesus' name. Is that the last one? Let's take that yes, as the last one so that he we has pray. had difficulty in seeing properly, but as you were praying in seeing properly, so as you prayed, he went to the medical stand and the doctors did med uh, basic medical eye test and it's fine that he could what see. What couldn't could you breathe. see? How was the condition before like, now? I still have inches with my eye. Okay. It's a very difficult need to see clearly from the board, yes. even when I'm writing. So and now, now the itches is gone. No more inches in my In the eye. name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Amen. It will never return to you. You are healed. You are perfected forever. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our online family, we're sorry we may not be able to take your testimony now, but do feel free to send it. Um, we have to get to the next part of the program in the name of Jesus Christ. Rise up and receive a prophetic word. And we will say that you are good and all the miracles you've done has brought us joy and we are changed and all the hope we have we place in you right now father we declare that we One more time with faith in your heart. Father, we declare that we love you. We declare our everlasting love. Hallelujah. Can you stretch your hands by faith to this prayer request? When we do this, what supports what we're doing is the understanding that this is an act of faith this is a representation of your desires and whilst you are releasing your faith i'm releasing my faith with you so go ahead and pray ask the lord to turn every request here to a testimony in the name of jesus christ i'll go down my knees right now and speak over your requests Shalabranda barako shopratis ke pratis kiete. Krata barada baka pranti shalabrati ke de balade bosh. Lord, visit your people. Turn their mourning to dancing. Turn their sorrow to joy. Give them testimonies. In the name of Jesus, are you declaring by faith? Are you declaring by faith that Lord, in the name of Jesus, I laid down my request. I will pick up my answers. I lay down my request. I will pick up my breakthrough. I lay down my request. I lay down delay to pick up speed. Someone is praying. I lay down shame to pick up honor. I lay down stagnation to pick up advancement. I lay down retrogression to pick up greatness. In the name of Jesus Christ. I lay down poverty and I pick up abundance. Let your fire rest upon this. Let it be turned to a harvest of answers. I lay down barrenness and I pick up supernatural children. I lay down joblessness and I pick up a flourishing job. I lay down spiritual lukewarmness and I pick up fire for my spirit man. I lay down ignorance and I pick up abundance of knowledge and understanding. I lay down sickness and ill health. I pick up health, strength, vitality. In Jesus' name we pray. 
in Jesus name we pray father I present to you the request of your people an expression of their faith and their trust in you they have brought this prayer request in faith believing that you are the God that does wonders even in the midst of your people I pray oh God in the name of Jesus that every request here penned down by faith let it return to your people as a harvest of answers shout amen like you believe let it return to you as a harvest of answers in the name of Jesus may God intervene supernaturally may God intervene using the ministry of men may God intervene by connecting you to help us of destiny I pray for you that in the name of Jesus Christ the same way you took time to write the request that is the same time you would you the, the same way you would take the time to acknowledge the doings of God one by one where you drop shame pick up honor where you drop retrogression pick up advancement where you drop sickness pick up health and vitality where you drop suffering and stagnation pick up ease and abundance in the name of Jesus Christ where you drop barrenness pick up a harvest of children where you drop lukewarmness pick up fire and vibrancy in the spirit I decree and declare by faith that these Egyptians you see today in the name of Jesus the son of the living God may you see them no more forever in the matchless name of Jesus Christ amen and amen hallelujah please stand I want to speak over your finances hallelujah my greatest joy as a man of God is to see everyone excel in every area of your life first your spiritual life loving Jesus being on fire a vibrant prayer life a vibrant word study life are we together hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you I would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching